You know what's crazy? We've had social media in our lives properly since 2012 now. We were like 12 when we first started using them. And a decade later, we're still on it. So that's a decade of apps like Twitter. What? And- you mean X? Okay, yeah, X. And Instagram and YouTube and TikTok. Like, Yeah, God. I spent seven hours on TikTok yesterday. Seven hours? Yeah, seven fucking hours. Oh my God. I know. But it's honestly like you're in quicksand. The deeper you kind of sink into it, it's almost harder to just pull your attention away. Mm. I, I saw something quite interesting the other day on, um, it was like a podcast or something, and it was comparing social media to alcohol. What, in what sense? In the sense that like, like alcohol, in moderation, a little bit of social media isn't bad for you. In fact, it can be really beneficial. Like, we're definitely better cooks because of all the recipes we found on Instagram, right? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, like, and then in the same sense, in moderation, alcohol can also be like pretty cool. Like, it allows you to be funny and more relaxed around other people. But, too much alcohol is not good for you, right? If you're drinking too much, it messes up your sleep, you put on weight, and you can become addicted. <laughs> well, I think that's the same for social media. If you're on it too much, it's terrible for your sleep patterns, it raises your anxiety levels, and can honestly make you depressed because you're comparing yourself to other people's awesome lives. Yeah. And this podcast pointed out that the difference between the two addictions is that we've been drinking alcohol for hundreds, if not thousands of years, so we know what it's like when someone's overusing it we can clearly identify when someone has a problem with it. It's obvious. But with social media, it's not nearly as obvious when someone's addicted because it's such new technology that we're not super clear on how it can affect you. Anyway, I'm rambling a bit, but you get my point. No, no. Well, I mean, yeah, you're banging on a bit, but that's actually a really good comparison. (laughs) Cheers. I mean, I did hear it on our podcast, but I'll claim it. (laughs) I mean, no, you're right. We are all too addicted to it, but no one really talks about it. It's like, We'll kind of be smoking these like invisible cigarettes yeah, and no yeah. one holds each other accountable because it's just so addictive. It is, yeah, honestly. You can also think about it like this. I mean, if me and you were both to live for, what, another 80 years, okay, sit with me on this, and say we were awake for, what, 16 hours a day mm-hmm. and we spend, say, two of those hours on TikTok each day, yeah. and then we do a bit of maths, that would mean by the time we die, we could have spent at least, like, 10 of those 80 years scrolling on TikTok, oh which God. I mean is pretty depressing to think about. And that's not even considering all the time we spent on it up until this oh point. God, yeah. And yeah, as you said, like there's definitely positives to being on social media, but it's just the amount of time we spend on it is just so unhealthy. God, yeah. I mean, 10 years. I could probably be fluent in like Mandarin by that time or like learn how to solve a Rubik's Cube in like 10 seconds. Yeah, God, exactly. It's just like eating away at our potential. You know, like, what, some people do, what is it, Sober October? Yeah. Why don't we maybe try to do that for social media? Uh, to be honest, I don't know if I can do that. What? Come on. You were the one calling social media alcohol. I mean, don't you think it'd be cool <laughs> for us to like, have a break and see how it affects you? Yeah, but, like, I don't know. Like, I need YouTube for uni and, like... Just, like okay, fine. You- Leave out YouTube. I know you could do without TikTok. Yeah. So why don't we both delete that? You know, it's not a bad idea. It's just for a month. I mean, deal? Yeah, deal.